I remember the Space Museum where there was this one scene where the camera pans across the artifacts and it, uh, and, and then you hear William Hartnell's voice somewhat saying, exterminate, exterminate, and he pops open the top and you happen to see him coming out of a Dalek yeah. and laughing hysterically. I thought that was great. I don't know if that shot was intended, um, but it, it made for perfect uh, perfect comic relief. Oh, uh, absolutely. Well, I mean, we did have a sort of, I suppose we were, it, it did become very, very successful. And I remember that one um, for one episode, one serial, we wanted um, uh, we wanted a, a clip from a Beatles song. Mm. And I, in those days, I rang up an, an Apple mm-hmm. and said, this is, could you get, let us have something for Doctor Who? And they very kindly let us have a piece. <laughs> I mean, they would never do it today. Nobody would ever do it today. It would cost an absolute fortune. Exactly. But, you know, we were able to get it. Yeah. And that was rather nice. <laughs> so that was a testament to the show's popularity, of I course. I suppose it was, really. Exactly. Uh, of the stories you did, um, which one was your favorite in particular that, that you um, that you as producer had did for the series? I really, really liked the Daleks' Invasion of Earth. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. It, there was something about the the actual reality of, of London mm. with these creatures going through it, which appealed to me. Mm-hmm. And the other, I did like the other Dalek serial very much, the one where they went, they, they sold the secret of the Mari Celeste and all that kind of thing. We, we, we found out that the Mari Celeste had been evacuated because the Daleks had landed on yes, it. Yes, yes. I quite like that. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there, were some, there were some good things in that. And I, I did like some of the historical ones. I mean, I, I liked, Marco Polo was absolutely wonderful. And of course, I know, know it's been lost and nobody can ever find it, but... It was a very good serial. Well, thankfully, uh, some fans have uh, audio recorded this uh, so much to a point that they uh, one had like a, a direct line from the from the cable from the audio cable on, the, on his TV speaker directly to his tape recorder, and uh, we, we happen to take a look at uh, in an animated uh, version, if you will, of Marco Polo. Oh, really? Yes, and and uh, the animation looks uh, it, it's it looks quite good uh, considering that it was put together within a brief period of time, but it, uh, it it's enough to go ahead and flush out the story and to give one an idea as to what it's like uh, hopefully that yeah. might be a possibility at resurrecting the uh, the older adventures it's it's just a sh- it's just a shame that nobody had the foresight to realize that this show was going to go on the way it has and and and, and instead they take some of these uh tapes and just uh, throw them into the fire regrettably yeah i know it's sad yeah well, I know William Hartnell said that Doctor Who could go on forever. Did you have any inkling that as you started shooting the pilot about 40 years this month, uh, in September of 1963, that it would have lasted this long, that, uh, that, uh, selecting a doctor would be the equivalent of the excitement of the Catholics selecting a pope and, and, a, and, <laughs> and, 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 uh, and, and a police box being officially owned by the BBC and, 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 and a Dalek being on a, on a stamp, uh, for, for the Royal Post? I mean, did you ever imagine that this would be a tremendous uh, part of British popular culture and at the same time like King Arthur and Robin Hood and Sherlock Holmes a tremendous part of British uh, cultural legend never I mean how could you I was what, 25 years old or something you know mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it was my first job as a producer I mm. mean I just was grateful that I could get it on the air and mm. I thought it was quite entertaining or it was entertaining and people seemed to like it mm. um, but I never no I could never I mean I thought it was a very good idea and um, and once it, it got you know it got into the ratings and people really loved it. I thought, well, this is wonderful. But I mean, of course, you can't. You just have no conception, do you, that it's going to go on forever like that? 